everybody. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this video because the last time the voice and the images weren't matching up. So, um, sorry if I seem like weird or something. I'm also probably kind of weird because I've been looking up stuff about grad schools all day. So I'm kind of like harried about um, that. So bear with me through this video. Um, but. Today I'm bringing back my favorite children's book author, Kevin Hankies, and I'm going to be talking about the book Chrysanthemum, which is a really cool story um, and something that I can relate to a lot because when I was in junior high, I wasn't used to being like one of many Ashleys. Uh, I was actually the only Ashley in my elementary school class, um, which is kind of amazing, really. Uh, and so when I got into junior high, I started going by Ash. So I had a name crisis, which Chrysanthemum experiences in this book. Um, so I'll start by reading the first, um, like, three pages. Okay. You don't want to see that page. There we go. <laughs> All right. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Little baby. A mouse. <laughs> All right. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew, and when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. Um, and Kevin Hankies does this kind of thing a lot where he'll have multiple pictures on the page, so I'll kind of let you look at those a little bit better. Um, so, Chrysanthemum loves her name, and then she goes to school, and everyone makes fun of her because her name is so long, and one of the girls in our class says that her name is 13 letters long, which is half as long as the alphabet, um, which is really funny. But Chrysanthemum is really upset, and she goes home at night and plays Pertizzi with her parents and has, like, good food, and then every she thinks everything's okay, and then she goes, goes back to school the next day and everything's not okay, obviously, because her name is still Chrysanthemum. But then her um, music teacher is pregnant, and she finds out that her music teacher's name is Delphinium, which is also really long, and um, her music teacher says that she thinks Chrysanthemum is a perfect name, and she wants to name her baby Chrysanthemum. And so then all those kids, you know, like, like the music teacher, and they decide that Chrysanthemum's a cool name. Um, so, it's a neat book, and I also wanted to show you this illustration because I think it's really neat. Um, in this illustration, Chrysanthemum is having a dream that her, one of her like classmates is picking her out of the ground, uh, which is a kind of a creepy idea and a creepy picture, but I think it is neat. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you like flowers and cute mice, then you should check out Chrysanthemum. It's actually, it has some um, like really hard words in it, but it's a fun read aloud. And um, a fun book for like an older reader, probably. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.